Alright hey everyone welcome back to another video of Salesforce makes sense this is Imanshu and we are going to continue understanding database operations and now that you have Sockle and Saucel under your belt we are good to understand update and delete operations right so let's jump into Salesforce and what we did last was create or insert a plain record into the system right and now we'll quickly try and understand how to update or delete a record right and my understanding is you have taken a look at the previous video very properly and you are good with Sockle and Saucel all right because we'll be needing them in this video and for those of you who are seeing this video for the very first time as part of the playlist I'll encourage you to start from scratch from the very first video chapter one of Apex developer curriculum and this is probably our 50 51st video so we have come a long way and those of you who are following it's a good time to understand update and delete commands all right so here we go i'll create a new method here and i'll call it handle contact updates all right now for an update or a delete scenario right you'll basically be given a record id right meaning you'd basically know what record to modify correct or what record to delete so with that premise we'll try to update a record i'll go to salesforce and let's go to contacts and let's take a look at one of the contacts right so if i take a look at let's say contacts tab right here this is in salesforce classic you might be on the lightning experience it's the same thing no worries i'll just open this rose gonzalez record which is a contact in the system and what i want to do is i want to just pick up this record id okay let's say this is the contact that we want to update and that is coming as part of the parameters right id contact id and i'll just simply put contact id equals this particular value right here and say save okay so we'll assume that this is the contact id that's going to come to us like basically one contact record is going to show up right and what do we want to do let's say you want to modify this particular contact and what's your use case you want to say that if the title is SVP procurement you want to ensure that the department is procurement okay so we'll try to do this how do you do this you basically have to query your contact so I'll say list okay let's start with contact con equals select ID comma title what is the other field that I need I need the title field because I want to check it and I want the department field so I'll say ID comma title comma department from which object from contact object correct where ID equals this particular ID right here contact ID save correct so this should find the contact for me and assign it to the con record variable correct provided I find a ID and I hope you are familiar with this query syntax the only thing here is that when you are writing a where clause and you want to map it to a dynamic variable you have to use the colon that's it okay so this will evaluate to the record ID that is passed to the method all right so what will this do this will return you the contact of Rose Gonzalez it, it will have the title information and the department information because we have queried that okay and what I want to do is I want to basically say if con dot title equal to equal to SVP comma procurement right so if this is the title I want the department to be automatically updated as procurement correct this is what I want to do I'm taking a look at the title field checking it for a specific value and if it matches a specific value I'm setting the department field as a specific value okay so for now let's clear this out okay let's clear this out and try to save this contact record saving up fine the title is SVP procurement and the department is blank right and now what, what we want to do is we simply want to use our magical database operation command update con what will this do this will basically run a database in update operation on which instance or which object the s object contact what is con con is a contact type record why did i not instantiate it because i directly queried and that will return me an instance of the contact record that matches this particular record id if that was a very long statement go back 10 seconds listen to it three times and then come back okay so we didn't have to instantiate it because i'm directly querying it and and stamping it to a variable 
if this returns a contact record this will automatically be stored on the con object con variable okay so all of this looks good i'll quickly say save and this update should trigger a contact update and should update the department value to procurement let's give it a try execute and this time i'll say handle contact update right and this expects a parameter so i'll simply pass this particular value here all right this is my record id i'm passing and i'll say execute and i want to open the log first of all let's see if it runs fine it did run fine and it will open the log if i take a look at the log the only thing i want to show is see this right here the number of so number of sockle queries you have used is 1 out of 100 what does that tell you you wrote one sockle query in this method one sockle query right and how many dml statements one so number of dml statements is also one okay how many database rows were updated see number of dml rows that were updated is, is one record basically you modified one record right so one out of 10000 so this tells you the governor limit that you get as part of your transaction and it also shows you how much have you consumed we'll take a look at debug logs in detail very soon but this gives you a fair picture make sense perfect now let's quickly take a look at what has happened to rose gonzalez record see department is empty if i refresh my page you'll notice that the department has been set as procurement and it was last modified at 1218 by himanshu correct so we have been able to successfully update or modify a database record and that is what update does okay now quickly basically modifying this code because we have learned a lot of deal around best practices handling null scenarios so let's modify the same method to ensure that no errors are expected right so first of all if i were to simply change this id here right what would happen it would not find the record and if i say execute see i got a query exception list has no rows why is that because the query is not returning any rows right we learned about this if the query does not return any rows this contact variable will be null and if contact is null that con dot title will throw an exception and this will also be throwing an exception query exception what's the best way to skip this error and put a check i convert this to a list variable right i'll say list of con con list equal to this particular query so this will if it finds a record it will insert one contact record in this list if it does not it will keep the list empty so far so good and now what i can simply say is if con list dot size is greater than zero meaning i found a record correct i want to do all of this stuff right and what do i want to do i want to do the operation on the first record right i'm putting a static zeroth index for now you can even loop it okay that will come as part of the best practices right but for now i know that there's only going to be one record why because i have mapped it to a id variable so each record has a unique id so if i get one record here it is for sure that the contact list will either be zero or one that's it right so i can even put a check like equal to equal to one even that works because it will never be two three four or minus one correct it will either be zero or one based on what we have written so this smartness you'll have to put in your code okay if i now save it and i try to run the same code we should not expect any error even though the record id is missing so if i say execute it is not throwing an error so we have ensured that our code is error free or null checks query checks are put properly correct so that's at par with our best practices so we have written the same method we have ex expected the contact id what else can i do i can even put a check here right i can even check if contact id not equal to null only then proceed ahead that could also be a high level check right why to even execute the query see why to even execute the query if the contact id is null because we know that this query will never return anything if the contact id is not passed if it is an empty string so why do i waste my one query in the transaction i'll not waste it i'll put a null check here correct so these kind of checks help you optimize your performance correct not your performance but the code's performance that you have written all right so this is how you can run an update cool Thank you.